Welcome to this week's assembly. I wonder if you've got your school Christmas tree up yet. Did you know that um, experts, scholars, think that Christmas trees were first used over a thousand years ago in northern Germany? The first person to bring a Christmas tree into a house in the way that we know it could well have been the famous 16th century German preacher, Martin Luther. The story goes that he was walking home through a wood one night when he looked up and he saw the star shining through the leaves of the trees. It looked so beautiful that when he went home, he told his children what he had seen and that it reminded him of Jesus who left the stars of heaven to come down to the earth. And he went out and cut down a small fir tree and brought it into the house and decorated it with candles. Now in Britain, Christmas trees didn't start becoming popular until the mid 1850s. It was really 1848 when there was an article in a newspaper in London with a picture that had been drawn called the Royal Family Christmas. And in this picture, Queen Victoria, her German husband, Prince Philip, and their children had been drawn sitting around looking at their Christmas tree. And as electric light became more common in the 1930s, then electric lights around Christmas trees started to become popular as well. I wonder if you have got a Christmas tree in your house. Is it big or small? Is it a real one or an artificial one? Have you decorated it yet? I like trees indoors, Christmas trees indoors. I think they're great. And I like going to different people's houses, seeing how they've decorated their trees. I'd like to tell you a story now about the first Christmas tree. A long time ago, hundreds of years ago, people were very frightened of large trees, especially if they were old, because they believed that spirits lived them in the trees and the spirits were out to get people to do nasty things to them. And so what they often did was perform rituals put food down at the trees or did little dances around the trees, things to try to make the spirits happy so that they wouldn't do any bad things to the people. Now, this story is set about 1300 years ago. A man called St Boniface, he was born in 680 in Devon. You might want to remember that, 680 AD, because there might be a question on that later. He was born in Devon, and as a young boy, age five, he wanted to become a monk. Now, you might know what monks are. They're men who live together in big buildings, and they spend a lot of time in prayer and worshipping God and they support one another by doing their own gardening and their own cooking and supporting one another. And there are still monks around today. When Boniface grew up, he did actually become a monk and he was also a missionary. He was a missionary monk. Now, a missionary is someone that goes to another place, often another country, to tell others about Jesus, to tell others about the love of God. And that's what Boniface did. And he actually went to Germany. And this story is set on Christmas Eve, one Christmas Eve. It was getting late in the day, it was getting dusk. And St Boniface and his followers, these are the monks who were his friends, were walking through a forest on the way from one place to another to tell other people about Jesus. It was quite cold and it was windy. And as it was getting darker, the shadow, the shadows of the trees got bigger 
and stranger. And the le as the wind blew, the trees would creak. Sometimes, as two branches cracked against one another, there was a strange sound. Boniface could hear the call of wolves and the screech of owls in the night. But as they continued through the wood forest, they heard another kind of cry. It was a cry that alarmed them. They stood still in amongst the trees and waited and watched because the sound of voices was getting louder. And as a group of people got closer, Boniface and his friends could see that they were dragging a young boy, kicking and screaming along with them. They got in front of a big old oak tree and threw the boy onto the ground. And then to Boniface's amazement, one of the men raised a big axe. Putting it, leaning over the boy, Boniface could stand it no longer. He rushed out and grabbed the axe and pulled it off the man. What do you think you're doing? He said. You're in trouble now, said the man. The spirits of the trees are angry. You will be in trouble. Something terrible is going to happen to you because the spirits of the trees demand life. Boniface said, nothing is going to happen to me because he had faith in God that God would protect him. And he knew that spirits of the trees weren't real. And Boniface said, I will prove it to you. There is nothing to fear if you trust in God, because God is a God of love and power. And with that, Boniface started chopping down the big oak tree. The villagers stood back amazed at what he was doing. Oh no, you're in for it now, they said. Boniface took no notice. He kept chopping. And after a while, the tree crashed to the ground. See, said Boniface, smiling and wiping his brow. I am completely safe. There is no need for you to fear the spirit of the trees and I'll tell you why. And with that he sat down on the big oak tree that he'd fouled and he told the villagers all about the story of Jesus when he came down to earth as a baby. The villagers listened and suddenly Boniface paused because he'd noticed that behind the oak tree that he'd, 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 not, he'd cut down with his axe, with the axe, Behind it was a fir tree. And Boniface said, if you want to have a special tree, have this fir tree as a special tree because it teaches us something about God. Look, he said, its leaves point up to heaven. And those leaves are evergreen, which means they're green all the year round. And that is like God. God is everlasting. And as Boniface was talking, his followers gathered around the, the little fir tree with their lanterns. And the lanterns shone on the tree and the shone, the tree glistened in the light. It was an amazing sight. And Boniface said, let the fir tree be a sign to you of God and that God is a God of peace and there is no need to fear. And you can use the fir tree to make with to get its wood and make homes for yourselves. It was now night time and the moon was shining and quietly all the villagers gazed. On the tiny tree that was bathed in light. And the boy was there. And the villagers had their arms around him. The wind had stopped and everything in the forest was still. Now, I hope you like that story. I've got a lot of questions today. 14. Let's see how well you get on. You can think about the answers and then I'll go through the answers at the end. You could even split into two teams if you wanted to. 
OK, what was the saint's name? What was the name of the man in the story? This is a hard one. Number two, when was he born? Number three, what did he want to do when he grew up? What job did he want to have? Number four, what is a missionary? What does the word missionary mean? Somebody who what? Number five, what did Boniface and his friends, tra where did they travel? What country did they travel to? Number six, how well you were listening. What day was the of the year was the story set? And where was Boniface, this is number seven, where was Boniface and his friends travelling? They were going from one place to the other. What were they travelling through? Eight, why wasn't Boniface frightened? Number nine, I said he had two animals. Name one of them. Number ten, what weapon had the man got that he raised up above his head? And number eleven, what did Boniface do to stop the man? When Boniface, this is twelve, when Boniface began to chop down the tree, what did the villagers think would happen to him? 12, 13, what did Boniface say that the fir tree showed the people about God? And number 14, what made the fir tree in the story look like our Christmas trees today? I've gone through those quickly I hope it wasn't too quick for you but let me go through the answers number one Saint Boniface B-O-N-I-F-A-C-E don't worry about the spelling when was he born that's hard if you remember that you've done really well 680 B A D, 680 AD three he wanted to be a monk four country they travelled to was Germany. And five, what day of the year was the story set? Christmas Eve. Where were Boniface and his friends travelling through to get from one place to the other? A forest? Why wasn't Boniface frightened? That's number eight. Because of his faith in God. He believed God would protect him something like that but it was because of his faith he trusted God number nine the two animals he heard was a wolf and an owl so a point for one of those number 10 what weapon had the man got it was an axe 11 what did Boniface do to stop the man he rushed out of his hiding place and he grabbed the axe so grab the axe or took the axe off him. Number 12, when he began to cut down the tree, what did the villagers think would happen? They thought that something bad would happen to Boniface. And 13, what did Boniface say that the fir tree showed about God? So you could say the leaves pointing up to heaven or the evergreen showing that God is eternal or everlasting. Something like that would get you a point. And what made our, the little fir tree look like our Christmas trees today? Boniface's friends stood around and their lanterns shone on the tree. So it looked like the lights of our tree. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that story and the quiz. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.